Welcome to today's video where we are diving into how I go about e-scouting for spring bear. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Johnny Mack, the host of the Soul Seekers podcast and TV show on Carbon TV. And today we're gonna to dive into how I go about e-scouting for spring black bear. I got a bear hunt in the state of Idaho this coming June. And we're gonna be taking a look at Onyx maps and look at what features I'm gonna focus on to dial in my hunting location. So once I have my general unit figured out in the region in which I'm gonna be hunting, I'm gonna then start focusing on specific things within the map that is gonna help me find more bears. So as we dive into this, there's a few things you need to understand. Number one, we are going to be looking for south facing slopes. In the south facing slopes, bear seasons are typically open from April 15th to June 15th, depending on different states that you are hunting. But from April to June can be a lot of different things happening. You have uh, winter still snowing in areas, you have snow lines receding, you have sun coming out, and a lot of sun and moisture creates a lot of fresh new green growth, which bears are going to target coming out of hibernation to get their digestive system working and to remove their plug. So in order to do that, we're gonna focus on south facing slopes, and green grassy areas. Now, as much as I love green grassy areas, that is their food source that they are going to be eating and focusing on, what is going to provide those is the south facing slopes, but also you want water. When you are e-scouting for black bears in the springtime, you are looking for water resources. Any sort of active creek is gonna be ideal because on those active creeks, they use those drainages as highways and travel corridors for them to go up and down the mountains and hills each morning and evening. So if you can find an area that is southeast, south facing, southwest facing, with lots of water and great vision and glassing knobs, you're gonna find success in the woods. So let's take a look over here on X map. So as we take a look at this map and you can see that there are already three glassing knob locations picked out as well as a bear icon. Now, when we look at this map, you can see that there is, it doesn't really look that green on these south facing slopes. What really looks green is these north facing slopes, but that can be based off of when the imagery was taken. So if we go to Onyx and go to recent imagery, you can see that this is actually covered in a whole lot more snow because it's winter time. And so this recent imagery is not necessarily gonna help us that much. But what is gonna help us is the fact that there is uh, green areas right in here that I really like. I also love the fact there's, that there's a lot of active water in the area. If we switch over to 3D, you can get an idea of what these draws look like. So. As I come in and I'm glassing, I can glass all of this and I can glass this opposite north facing slope as well. What I like about north facing slopes is that they come into play later in June. As the bear rut kicks off and the boars start roaming around and the food sources start to dry up on the south facing slopes as far as green grasses, you can focus your attention more on north facing slopes, but that is based off of more later in the season. If you're gonna be more earlier, I wouldn't focus too much on those north facing slopes. But what we have right here is a lot of water and we have a lot of glassing knobs and a lot of drainages all on these south facing slopes that we are going to be picking apart and allowing our eyes to do the walking for us. Get comfortable, get patient. I love to glass off a tripod and have a chair, but this is what I am focusing on. Now, if we go back to the 2D model, you can see how it is uh, not so intimidating, but also if we wanted to measure how far it is from this glassing knob up into this green meadow, that right there, is a distance of 495 yards. 
So I always recommend people be able to shoot out to 500 for spring black bear. And this would give me a great idea of like, okay, from this glassing knob, I could actually reach out and, and shoot from that distance when I spot a bear. Same thing goes with all these other drainages as you get to pick those as great glassing opportunities. So this is what I'm looking for when it comes to e-scouting. I'm looking for, once again, to, to cover it, I'm looking for south facing slopes. I'm looking for green grasses and green meadowy areas, which means not heavily timbered. Uh, spring, spring bear, bears are focusing on those fresh growth, but they love those mountain onions and uh, they love to dig those up and get after it. Um, as the season progresses into June, you can start glassing those north facing slopes. And if you have an opportunity to glass a north facing slope and an area of the south facing, that is ideal. Be able to shoot out to 500 yards or more. And also you got to identify water. If there's no active water in the area, then the bears aren't going to be there because they're going to, there's not going to be fresh growth. We want to focus on fresh growth in the springtime. So hopefully with this, what you see on my Onyx, you can take that, apply it to your digital scouting and use that as a resource to help you this coming spring when you're out chasing black bears. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it uh, a share, leave a comment. You can contact us at our con uh, website at soulseekersnation.com, connect with us on social media, or just connect with us here at YouTube. I want you guys to understand that bear hunting is a phenomenal thing, and the more that we can do it, the more we can talk about it, the better this world's gonna be as bear hunters get to be ambassadors for all hunting wherever you go. Guys, be blessed. Remember that hunting has the power to transform lives through primal adventure and that you can never outgive good as mentorship is conservation. I'm Johnny Mack. Be blessed. And as always, stay soulful. to help you this coming spring when you're out chasing black bears. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it uh, a share, leave a comment. You can contact us at our con uh, website at soulseekersnation.com, connect with us on social media, or just connect with us here at YouTube. I want you guys to understand that bear hunting is a phenomenal thing, and the more that we can do it, the more we can talk about it, the better this world's gonna be as bear hunters get to be ambassadors for all hunting wherever you go. Guys, be blessed. Remember that hunting has the power to transform lives through primal adventure and that you can never outgive good as mentorship is conservation. I'm Johnny Mack, be blessed, and as always, stay soulful.